My beloved child, I speak to you from the depths of my heart, for you are dear to me. Listen to these words with your entire being, for they are meant for you alone. I ask for just a moment of your precious attention to hear my voice above all distractions. What I wish to share with you is of greater importance than anything else that occupies your thoughts. Stay with me a little longer and open your heart. Let me take away the pain that burdens your soul and banish the melancholic thoughts that haunt your mind. I hold you close, offering you serenity and peace like no other. Come, trust me with your heart. Allow yourself to be loved. I am a keeper of promises, and my words hold a profound purpose. I'm here to lift your spirits, to bring a smile to your face every morning as you seek me. Know that I love you, truly and deeply. I want you to not only know it and believe it, but to feel this sacred love within you, so you can find happiness once more. I have never left your side, and I will never forget you. This is an unshakable truth. You are secure in my hands, sheltered and protected. Place your trust in me completely. My arms are forever open to you. I listen attentively to your cries and prayers as you welcome each new day. Open your eyes, take a deep breath, and feel my encompassing presence. I delight in your morning greetings, filled with confidence and trust. You know that I am here to listen, to answer every benevolent request you bring to me. It warms my heart when you pray for your family, for it holds great significance. Do not let your focus drift to trivial matters. When life's tribulations leave you feeling lost, seek solace in me, find a way when you feel overwhelmed and surrounded by conflict, I am your solution. I do not want anxiety to enslave you or baseless fears to consume you. You've placed your trust in me because you know I will not let you down. Hold on to my word. Treasure it within your soul. Keep it close to your heart and remember the wondrous things I have done for you in the past. I rescued you from adversaries, saved you from the clutches of death, extended my hand and delivered you from peril. Even in the most dire moments when all seemed lost, I returned with my powerful word, performing miracles beyond imagination. There are still many wonders I can work for you. Have confidence in me. Let me continue to assist you. I desire to protect you day and night. Do not allow despair to take root in your soul, for I love you deeply. I want you to receive my peace and find lasting happiness. I see your tears and hear your prayers for the well-being of those you hold dear. Often, you kneel and intercede for others, yet you rarely ask for anything for yourself. Your attitude of worship and gratitude is deeply cherished. When you come before me, focus on praise and thanksgiving for all your blessings. I take delight in your reverent spirit. So, even when you don't explicitly make requests, know that I will bestow upon you blessings greater and more marvelous than you can fathom. I want your faith to remain unwavering. I will fulfill every promise I make to you. When obstacles try to block your path, do not be disheartened. I hold your destiny in my hands. You will reach your goals. You will realize the dreams within your heart. Nothing and no one can steal your blessing, but your faith, loyalty, and sincerity are crucial. Seek me every morning, and as you open your eyes, let gratitude and praise be the first words on your lips. Do not let negativity overshadow the light that brightens your days. I want you to embrace the opportunities I bring into your life. I will grant you the supernatural ability to see beyond and understand the plans and thoughts of goodness I have for you. I know recent days have brought you pain, and at times, confusion may cloud your thoughts. But I tell you now, no harm will befall you. 
you will not be put to shame. You will conquer the enemies that surround you and emerge victorious against every threat. It's time for you to recognize your worth, to see yourself as the beloved child of the Almighty God. No one can prevail against you. No one can stand in your way. You are already triumphant over all challenges. Acknowledge your victory. Do not dwell on defeat. I will move mountains, and you will rise with unwavering faith. Your prayers will be filled with conviction and the assurance that I will answer. You will walk with determination and strength in your heart. There is no room for discouragement and sadness anymore. I understand that family matters can bring you distress and hurt. Sometimes you need moments of recovery, rest, and prayer. Taking a moment of silence, solitude, and communion with my Holy Spirit is soothing for your soul. You were not created to live in tears, sorrow, error, or failure. You may suffer and weep, but I continue to love you. You may think you can't carry on, but I come to lift you up. You will not live defeated. Your heart is beautiful and pure. Do not keep it in the darkness. Step into the light. Let your face radiate with joy, and people will cry out my name, Jesus, with joy in their hearts. You are my beloved child, a reflection of my love. I have done much for you, and I will continue to perform supernatural miracles so that you understand how significant you are to me. I have been telling you that you no longer have time for discouragement or retreat. You are like a sharp spearhead that cuts through the winds, opening pathways to the land of blessings I will give you. I will expand your spiritual understanding so you realize that you are a parent of generations. Do not be concerned if no one notices you today. Do not be discouraged by the blows you receive, even if they hurt. Do not squander the gifts and blessings I bestow upon you, for everything has a purpose. I have everything under control, but your attitude matters. Your faith and belief will elevate you to a higher level. Feast on my word. When you feel weak, kneel down. And if you feel you can't go on, look to the sky. I am there, and I also dwell in your heart. My blessings are not distant. They are right before you. Your salvation is at hand. Your mountain of problems will crumble. Your enemies have been defeated. Now answer me. Do you believe and do you love me? Upon receiving your response, I will perform a great miracle in you. Here are three things you must do today to calm your soul and banish anxiety. Listen carefully and let these words resonate in your soul throughout the day, bringing you peace. Firstly, give me your heart completely and sincerely, without reservations or fear. My purpose is to grant you eternal life and happiness. I have never intended to inflict punishments or trials upon you for your pain. My plans for you are prosperity and blessings, an abundant life filled with love and care. Surrender your heart to me, kneeling before my throne, willing to do my will, to nourish your spirit with my word, and to trust me wholeheartedly. Doubts may come and go and challenges may arise, but my written word will be the anchor of your faith providing the strength to persevere. Yet if you choose to offer me your heart only partially or when it suits you, your faith will lack a solid foundation. Your life will be tossed about by the waves when storms come and your thoughts and emotions will run amok. You will experience highs and lows. I do not want this for you. I ask that you give me your heart and maintain unwavering loyalty and faith decide now. Surrender your life for eternity, and each passing day will not be one less, but truly one more, because you will be with me forever, experiencing the incredible wonders of the universe. Everything will be more beautiful and better than you can imagine. You will receive countless blessings, enjoy a harmonious family, and face all challenges together. My blessings will reach you, 
and those who seek to harm you will flee. The reward for those who follow me is eternal victory, which has already been secured. Your part is to give me your heart, faith, and loyalty. I ask you to do this today. Secondly, raise your hands if you can, or close your eyes and dedicate some time in silence to offer heartfelt gratitude. Compile a list of your blessings, both current and expected, as well as those received in the past. Include even the seemingly small things that give you strength and purpose. Express gratitude sincerely and completely. Even if you believe you have no blessings, give thanks for your ability to give thanks. This act of thanksgiving will bring healing to your soul, removing the blindfold that obscures your vision. The horizon will open, revealing the many blessings that have already reached you and surrounded you, sustaining your life and providing reasons to continue and fight. They give you the strength to rise each morning and persevere. Challenges and struggles may be present, but if you look closely, you will see the wisdom and growth gained through each experience and how your faith has blossomed. Now, express gratitude to me. Let me hear your voice and your sincere words. Give thanks for life, for the air you breathe, for your family, for your current circumstances, even if they are not as you wish them to be. Give thanks. Soon I will provide guidance on your path. I will reveal new maps and correct routes to help you reach your destination. But for now, be thankful. Here and now, be thankful even when your soul weeps. Be grateful when you are joyful. Be grateful when your heart aches. Give thanks for the challenges, the failures, the bitter trials. Look at yourself in the mirror and thank yourself. Your attitude of gratitude is powerful. Today, you will begin to witness miracles and significant changes in your life because of it. Lastly, share these words with others. Many around you may appear content, but their souls carry suffering and they teeter on the edge of despair. They may struggle to find a true reason to live. Go and reveal this miracle of love that is happening in your heart. Share the happiness that fills you and the goodness my presence can bring to their lives. As you share love, I will envelop you with peace, harmony, prosperity, and blessings, free from anxiety or debt. Your actions may be met with laughter, but the hearts of those who hear you will ache. They are in need of what you have found. They need to know they are loved and cherished. Spread this message of hope and love. Understand that I heard the prayer you whispered before falling asleep last night. Tears dampened your pillow as you pleaded for courage, strength, peace, and assurance to face the challenges of life. Look at you now as you awaken to a new day, filled with determination and strength. You are no longer weak or disheartened. You have the courage to face any giant that crosses your path. Where there was fear, you now possess faith. Where there was uncertainty, you now possess resolve. Yesterday, your legs trembled at the thought of adversity, but today, you stand steadfast, ready to conquer any obstacle. Rise and move forward, for I have placed within your spirit a fervent desire to triumph. Trust in my power, for I brought you here because Beyond guiding your steps, I have equipped you with the strength to confront and overcome any challenge. While the hurdles may be great, remember that nothing surpasses my power. I brought you here, and I will remain by your side in all your struggles, battles, and wars. You are more than a conqueror through my love and strength. Every adversary that arises does so to be vanquished. I have instilled in you the resolve and determination required to overcome any conflict. Whatever your aspirations may be, whatever obstacles lie ahead, you will prosper in all your endeavors. I will bless you, open doors, and resolve the difficulties that weigh on you. I will touch the hearts of people, 
friends, family, judges, authorities, so they regard you with favor and act in your favor. Do not fear what others may do to you. As long as you trust in me and act with integrity, no one can stand against you or your family. Remember that I am with you every day until the end. My word possesses the power to heal. The supernatural force that flows from my words is sufficient to give you life and lift you up. You may feel unworthy for me to enter your life, but I assure you, your faith and humble attitude have captured my attention. I desire to enter not only your life, but your heart as well. There, I will inscribe words of healing and break the chains that bind you with a gentle touch of my hand. Your pain, fears, anxieties, and troubles will flee, for even the heavens heed my voice. I speak to you with clarity, because I desire to witness your happiness, inner peace, and the assurance of a bright future. When you spend time with me, you offer me the opportunity to embrace you, to assure you of my realness, my profound love, and my protection from all harm. This is the inheritance I long to bestow upon you. Believe in me wholeheartedly and accept it. Your strength is prepared and waiting for you to don it, to be clothed in my love, and to be transformed by the healing and transformative touch of my Holy Spirit. Now, stand up and move forward, equipped with the power of my Holy Spirit. When you encounter challenges, no one will be able to overcome you. You are not weak. You are strong. You possess my love and unwavering faith. Always remember this. For those who believe, all things are possible. I love you, and you will be all right. Trust in me. My timing is perfect. As I prepare to bless you, I am arranging circumstances so that when the time comes, you will receive those blessings effortlessly. I grant you patience and peace. Use them wisely. Do not react impulsively to situations fueled by emotion. Do not rush ahead or make significant decisions without consulting me. I do not wish for you to become ensnared or embroiled in misunderstandings. Do not strike deals with false friends. I confirm through this message that I will indeed assist you. Please be patient. Avoid accumulating debt. You have had your share of it. I do not want you to encumber your future. Soon, your life will be illuminated, and you will experience my grace and kindness. I will shatter chains and bondages, enabling you to live a life of freedom, independent of anyone else. Together, we will chart a new path for you to follow. This is our secret, something shared only between you and me. For a time, keep your plans and projects close to your heart. Do not reveal our intentions, for there are many envious and indiscreet individuals around you. They will ridicule you, as they have in the past, and attempt to dissuade you by recounting your past failures. But that era is over. Your heart has been transformed, and now you depend on me. You will flourish in all that you undertake, and as I previously mentioned, you will be blessed. Doors will open, and the challenges that weigh on you will be resolved. I will break chains and bondages, delivering peace and prosperity without the burden of anxiety or debt. Do not be swayed by the actions of others. As long as you trust in me and act with integrity, no one can oppose you or your family. Know that I am with you every day until the end. My word is sufficient to heal. The supernatural power that flows from my words is sufficient to give you life and lift you up. It is now at your disposal. You cannot continue walking bound by thoughts of pain. You must not continue believing that you deserve the terrible consequences your sins left you. You live in a world of affliction, but it is a conquered world. You are the child of the Almighty God who has promised you this. You must trust, believe in me with every step you take, and in this world and its afflictions, 
you will also find victory. I see that you still spend hours crying, sometimes not even knowing why. Let me tell you what it is that causes your suffering. It's a deep longing to return to me. Your heart misses me, your spirit longs for me, and your entire being knows that separated from me, you can do nothing. It seems as though life is slipping through your fingers, and you have yet to find the peace and happiness you've been waiting for. Your loved ones seem to grow more distant with each passing day. But pay attention, for I am here standing beside you, and there is a spring from which the waters of blessings flow. It quenches your life and soul, removing all sorrow. Drink from this water, wash away those thoughts of sadness, and you will never thirst again. I promise you, your faith has borne fruit. My word is enough. Today, I have healed you. You opened the door for me, and I have entered your home. I will stay here, blessing and protecting your family, and I will bless you even more than you can imagine. Today, I sense a hint of sadness in you. I see your downcast face, and I realize you need strength to continue on your journey with enthusiasm. Come with confidence. There's no need to go through your days without motivation or hope. After all, I am your father, and I do not reside in a distant place where you cannot reach my affection. I am here by your side, where I have always been, though you sometimes forget. Give me your hand and now rise. I want us to walk for a while along the pathways of your thoughts and tell me, what do you fear? Why do you no longer wish to live? Why do you want to discard your destiny? It's true, the world can be cruel. When you were a child, your eyes were curious, full of hope for the best in life. You offered your pure smile in friendship to those you called friends. But lies and betrayals later annihilated your hope, extinguished your laughter, and shattered your desire to live. Your love darkened, and you stopped trusting and believing in me. But believe me now, I understand you and I know you as well as I know the sky. Just as I call each star by its name, I know every burden in your life, every wound, even your smallest pain. We speak the same language, and I know exactly what will comfort you. Give me your hand, and as we walk, I want to tell you about a place where you are deeply loved, where you wear royal garments, where your name is known, appreciated, and admired. In that place, a loving gaze rests upon you every minute of your life, day and night. Like a hungry little bird, your soul is nourished there. You are who you truly are, the child of the Almighty, created in the image and likeness of the Creator of the universe. Do not forget, even if you stumble in the most beautiful place in the entire universe, you have your own place just for you, and from here, nothing and no one will ever remove you. That place is, yes, deep within my heart, where you are protected. You have every right, as my child, to come and talk to me every morning, even if you feel unworthy. Do not be deceived by lies. With my blood, I have bought your life. Scratch away your past with it once more. I repeat, from here, no one will ever pull you out. Nothing will ever remove you, and no one will ever separate you from my heart. You will always be the same to me, my little one, my beloved child. You have not been defeated. You keep fighting and you remain alive. You are still standing because you chose to believe in what I promised you. That fills you with divine and supernatural strength that nothing can overcome, nothing can defeat you. Remember these words well and keep resisting the relentless attacks of the enemy trying to make you abandon all your dreams. But it won't succeed. You belong to me. I protect you with my mighty hand and I defend you with my shining sword. Your victory will always be in my word. Look at yourself in the mirror of my powerful promises and be sure that, for me, you are greatly esteemed and valued. 
the greatest battle is against your own emotions, which sometimes, confused, lead you to think and feel things that are not true and, if not careful, can bring you down. Do not be guided by your feelings. Do not think that you are defeated by the problems you see. Do not be filled with fear over bad news or situations that seem negative, for I always have control over your life. I transform all things for the good of those I love, and you are among the chosen ones. With my blood, I have washed you. With my spirit, I have filled you. I have given you the power to be victorious in all things. Hold on to me with your sincere heart. Take refuge in my love always. And in this moment, as you receive my word, be assured that even your own mistakes will be turned to your benefit. You will suffer no more, your family will be well, and as the days go by, you will continue to see how you progress toward those dreams you have longed for. At some point, you may feel tired. That's normal when problems are so dark that they blind your eyes and you can't see where you're going. Perhaps you feel defeated, but this is not true. I lead you by the hand, even in the darkness. Do not fear, my child. Your father who loves you will never abandon you. Tell me now that you believe in me and that in my arms you feel safe. I am the only holy and supernatural remedy for all your ills. I am your God, your healer, the one who opens doors and clears your path. I am your provider, your protector, and in my hands, I hold your life and your future. Your family and you are covered by the mantle of my love. And today, you are feeling my presence in a real and powerful way. You've been waiting for me to speak to you, and you've come with a humble and grateful heart, ready to listen. Receive these words and treasure them. Let them fill your mind and cast out all that attention that caused you suffering before. Today, you walk with confidence, and even if you can't see me with your natural eyes, you can feel me, you can believe in me. You can trust in the miracles and wonders I can perform in your life and your family's life. Give me your hand, and let me guide you patiently and gently along the path of love, where my will reigns. The storms quiet down, and the seas calm when they hear my voice. You walk under a protective mantle, and your peace and security are so great that the noises of the night no longer frighten you. Do not let the confusion of this world make you lose your way. Never let go of my hand or divert your attention. Each day is a precious opportunity to keep fighting, and the problems, the falls, the discouragements, and the complaints of the past are gone. Remove them from your mind. You don't have to carry a burden that makes it impossible to renew your way of thinking. Start with your words. Don't hurt yourself with what you say. Don't sow defeat in your own land. Foolish words can destroy innocent lives, entire families, and plunge many into depression. Let wise sayings come from your lips, words for growth and edification. Don't let the enemy convince you that you can't change, that your future is filled with defeat and problems, and that your destiny lies in depression and oblivion. For with me, there are no impossibilities. Hold on to this truth. Whatever happens, do not forget that your life, your future, your character, your finances, your marital situation, your family conflicts, however difficult they may seem, I can change them. And if you ask me, I can start today. I'm not saying it will be easy. I'm giving you my promise that you have my help, my support, and my power. I love you, and I want you to be well always. The miracle you need, I want to and can make it happen. Believe me, believe me. Walking with the cross on my back had a purpose. Suffering the cruelest torment on a cross was not in vain. I knew that one day you would be born and go through a path of lashes and scorn. You have endured so much suffering caused by people. 
but today, I will remove all discouragement and frustration from your heart. I already suffered and gave my life and rose for you, so you could have the opportunity for an abundant, free and happy life. But believe my word so that your mind can undergo a true transformation and a river of clean thoughts flows where there was once only confusion. Where there was sorrow, there will be joy. Where there was depression, there will be a strong desire to live. Love and forgive yourself. I have long since forgotten your mistakes. Give me your heart, my child. Let your eyes look at my ways. You will keep fighting and sowing in this world where you are a pilgrim. But my blessing is your destiny. I want your feet to walk on the path of my love. I ask you again, and very seriously this time, to give me your heart today, and I will fill you with joy, remove those afflictions that have saddened your face, and give you the strength to overcome the things that have been attacking you since your childhood. You know what I mean. You know what it is. I have loved you as you are, but I chose you to have victory, to conquer, to guide others on their path to their destiny so that many can see how my will is done in someone like you, with a simple heart. Maybe it's difficult for you to accept so much spiritual richness. What I give you is not empty wealth. Accept it humbly and be filled with courage, because I will bring many changes around you. I am your life. Give me the chance to show you that I can change you completely, so much so that many won't recognize you. They will marvel at the tenacity, the strength, and the happiness they see in you. Accept my invitation. Give me your heart. Today, I begin a powerful transformation in you. Your family and you will be surrounded by harmony, peace, and blessings. I will rescue you from the storm with victory in hand. I love you, and at this very moment, right where you are, I want you to feel it. Your heart is filling with this beautiful and profound emotion, which fills you with joy and banishes your sadness. Feel as the weight on your shoulders lifts and there's a lightness in your step, a newfound strength to carry on. Stand up now. You cannot give up now that you're on the verge of triumph. Even when the storms rage and the winds shake you, under my wings I protect you and my hand guards you. I also know what pain is. I know what it feels like for those you trusted. To abandon you when enemies pierce your soul with the nails of hatred and tear your back with the whips of compassionlessness. I know what it's like to love unto death and give your heart even when met with disdain. I understand you. I know exactly what you're feeling. I want you to know that you do matter, that when your tears flow like a spring, and your soul is filled with sadness and anxiety. I won't judge you for your moments of weakness. I want you to understand that only I can help you when danger looms. Remove thoughts of death and defeat from your mind when danger approaches. The darkness is gone, and now you can walk confidently. Today, I have renewed your joy, increased your faith, written promises of trust in your heart, given you a new vision, a new longing built on my word. Don't waste your time trying to convince those who come to discourage you. They won't accept your perspective. They will mock you again. You don't need those mockers to move forward on your path. You are heading for victory. They are headed for defeat. They've already chosen their destiny. If you're attacked by loneliness, if you feel you need someone else's support, remember that you have me. But trust and be patient, for I will soon send the right person. You matter to me. I care for you, value you, protect you, love you. In a few more days, you'll have victory in your hand. I'm never late. I always arrive on time when you truly need me, at the best moment. The wait is hard and you've been thinking so much about what might happen, it's tearing you apart on the inside. 
That's why I want you to give me all that weight you carry on your back with great pain. Living in distress over the future is not the life I have for you. You also can't lower your gaze or get distracted by your worries and thoughts. I have said that I will perform the miracle you ask of me, that I will open doors, that I am always with you and I do not lie. The days are mine. I am the creator of the nights. I see that sometimes you can't sleep, tossing and turning, your mind racing over things that I already hold in my hands. When anxiety strikes, resist. When it screams in your ears, speak to it and tell it aloud that there is no fear in your heart because you have decided to trust in your best friend, in your God and Lord. You will see for yourself how fear flees and your soul is free from so much fear. You can enjoy my peace at last, live your life fully and be happy. I am promising you that in the midst of your struggles, I will remind you with my serene voice that my hand is upon your shoulder and that against all attacks. I will give you the strength you need to resist. Tell me that you believe me and obey me if I've convinced you to return to my word. Fill yourself with my promises and believe in me in those difficult moments you will encounter on your journey. You haven't fought so hard to give up now. You must keep going. I'm speaking to you today to fill you with faith, courage, and strength, to learn to wait for me, even when it seems your strength is failing, from waiting too long. Stay calm, talk to your heart, and tell it that there's nothing to fear. The control of your life, your dreams, your destiny, is in the hands of your loving Father. The winds of the world want you to forget those moments when I always helped you. But I command those winds and storms to stop right now. I love you. I will never fail you, and I won't be late. I'm here, ready to give you my hand and rescue you. Answer me with your heart, who loves you more than I do. Your trials have been difficult. I see your struggles, your efforts, and your desperation. Do not forget that you have been very brave throughout your life. Think of the situations that seemed impossible to resolve, and yet you managed to overcome them all. Since the day you surrendered control of your life into my hands, you have not lost a single battle. So, rest your heart and continue to trust. I know that sometimes it can be difficult just to rest and not lose faith, especially when everything seems to be going wrong and conflicts come knocking at your door, trying to consume you entirely. But in those moments, my child, cover your ears to the voices of the enemy. Do not accept the threats of fear and insecurity. Keep walking and trust in my promises. You are deeply loved by me and before you were even born, I already had something great in store for your life. Never will I abandon a defenseless child. I have been taking care of your life in a very special way. I am looking after every detail, every second. I am always present. Do not let sadness take up more space. Fill your heart with joy and keep walking with the eyes of faith, because victory is certain, and what I have prepared for you is greater than you can imagine. I love you. Amen.